Howdy peeps, Bitsu here, coming at you from the Bitsu Craft Patron Server. Right now we're deep within the bowels of the Iron Farm, and uh, yeah, I had a little bit of an AFK session here when I first started up, just hoping to see if we can't, uh, oh, get some stockpile of iron building up. Uh, this thing wasn't quite working properly before, and I will show you why when I do a little tour here. But, first of all, oops, ah, no one wants to see the back of my head, there we go. Let's see what our yields are here. And, oh, goody! Okay, that's what I like to see. Yep, yep, yep. Like, four and a bit stacks there. It won't... Yeah, I think this is a back pile system. So, down here we got another... Like, four and a bit. Cool, cool. Hey, a little bit better on this side. Okay, that is awesome. All right, well, uh, as you can see, first off, there's... We've got another portal here, and that's because this year, uh, my plan was kind of a weird one. We'll get back to that, though. Right now, first, a quick little tour. Okay. Uh, yeah, most people probably wouldn't have seen this because all of this happened kind of uh, on stream, if I'm not mistaken. But this up here is filled with zombie pigmen now. I guess they've been wandering through the portal. Holy jeepers, there's a friggin' ton of them. Okay, I'll have to do something about that. But, as you can see through here, we got villagers in little pods, and hello guys! And inside here, um, yeah, I never built myself any kind of a door to get in there or anything, did I? We've got... <clears throat> spawning platform for the golems, and another one up top, as you can see. Uh, the one up top doesn't have any of these little villager pods, though. And down here, under the uh, lava blade is where all those hoppers were leading into the chests. But in this section is where we've got just some tunnels leading off with... Uh, I can't remember now if there's four or five doors in each of them. And this is what's being classified as the village. As long as this opening has at least one square gap that goes all the way up to daylight, that will be classified as a village and where the heck's my door? There it is. Uh, the problem I had before, this place wasn't actually working because I totally derped up and these walls here, instead of being four blocks tall, were only three blocks tall. And apparently a golem is like 3.1 blocks tall or some crazy thing, so they just weren't spawning. They didn't have the room. And where, there we go, let's fix up my gross, whoops, come back here. There we go. Fixed up my gross hole I made in the wall here. <laughs> Swimming. Good. There we go. oof -da. And, yeah, I don't really have... Uh, I really need to make, I think, a walkway. Yeah, and you'll see, too, each of these has at least one farmer in it and a bunch of food thrown down. I did that because I uh, was wanting them to breed up their numbers a bit, just to make sure that this village is going to be kind of spitting out golems as fast as it can. But I had forgot to close off this little gap on the inside, and all the babies were just hopping out and getting flushed down in the water. Luckily, that was happening while I was in, you know, like the building stages, so I ended up... I think you only need one villager down where the doors are, and right now I've got four or five, I think, because of all the babies. But any hoozle, let's uh, go take a look at the top of this thing. It uh, isn't actually accessible from down here, which is kind of a pain in the butt. I think I'm going to want to address that in future, but yeah, probably not right just yet. On to the nether, the base proper. Ah, are you ready? Are you excited? You shouldn't be, because there's still nothing here. <laughs> the plan, the plan was to have my entire base be in the nether, and have all of my farms and sorting areas and all of that junk accessible via nether portal, because I thought that would be pretty cool. So all I've done so far, really, is dug out some tunnels, and I've plopped nether portals here, there, and everywhere. Uh, and as, as you can see, this one's iron, noting that it's to the iron farm, and there's some down yonder and down yonder. And 
Uh, I've put a nether portal inside of every desert temple I could find, and at every village I found. Which, yeah, this is supposed to mean village. I, don't, I know, I know, it looks like it should take me to a library, but what would that be? I might do that in future. I don't know. But this here is the village that's about to get attacked by skeletons that I got all of my villagers from for the iron farm. And yeah, I've still just got a mess of crap laying under it. Do I have a bed? I do have a bed. Let's get rid of these buttheads. Alright, come on. Hello, Mr. Nitwit. You're, uh, hope you don't mind. Oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep, though. These jerks are too close. Get out of here, you putts! I should probably be using a sword for this. Oops. I want to nail the nitwit. Sorry, bro. Oh, man. Okay, come on. Let's just get far enough from the fray that I'm not actively being attacked. And oh, Come on. There we go. Haha, yeah. -ha, you're on f Oh no! Okay, I'm super glad I put a bed right there, cause holy crap! Um, yeah! Pro Minecraft move right there, boys! Jeepers! Okay, grab all your crap, cause I don't even know what all crap I had. Cause you know me, come on, it's it's Bitsu. I had an inventory filled with just random junk, didn't I? Yeah, pretty well. Useful random junk, but random junk all the same. All right, let's see if these. Oh, there's a stray. Come here, buddy. Leave my villagers alone. As I was saying, you can still see my mess I left behind. This was just a little water elevator to get the villagers up here. And I boated them all over to boom. There you can see it, the big old temple in the distance. Ah, but since when I first built that thing, I had messed up completely and had the walls only three high. When I fixed it, uh, all of the bottom levels were already in place and there was a portal and all that junk. I didn't want to mess with that. So rather than digging it down deeper, I just decided to come up top and build it up a little bit higher. And yeah, I think it looks all right. So we'll take a peek at it from the top side and you'll see I made these little paths here to actually get up to it. That's because at night, this, you can even hear one now. Where is he? Sounds like an ankle bait or two. Ha ha! He fell for it. Neener, neener. This place would just be crawling with zombies, and I figured why not let them climb up, fall to their doom into a lava blade, and add their drops to the uh, to the iron golems. Why the heck not? What are you doing? You, he's not even... Hi. Get. Get. Wrecked. No, not me. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Okay, I must be... Too much water and villagers and crap over here. I am totally lagging out. Oh, and that almost killed me. I, I don't even have any food. All right, time to munch on some rotten flesh. Nom, 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 nom. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. But yeah, that way it allows them to drop in. I get their drops too. But I had to build the whole stinking thing up because it looked totally wackadoo. So I figured, why not? Give it some Iron Golem face type looking accents to it. I think that looks pretty cool. It's a... Uh... Oh no, here comes a stray and I'm starving. Uh... Yeah, run from me. Fear the wrath of my... <laughs> Stone sword. <laughs> Any whoozle? On. Whoops. On to the base tour. See you guys in a tick. There, I figured I'd start up again right here just to show you guys that, yeah, I just slapped this down to show that this one leads to uh, one of the desert temples. Um, this one clearly hasn't been set up to use for anything just yet, but hey guys, you just chilling? Yeah, how, how you doing? 
And I felt like linking the nether to desert temples just because the desert that I found out here is so freaking massive that there's, I've found like, I think six or seven, maybe even more desert temples and like four or five villages. So I thought, yeah, that's a good start right there. But yeah, as you can see, the nether fortress so far is still just nothing but gross tunnels. But to give you a glimpse as to what I'm hoping to do out here, I want to make it look all grand and creepy and check this. This is the only area I've worked on yet and it's the old smoky glass trick with the multiple layers of uh, glass where it just kind of, it just fades away to nothing and I think this looks pretty dope except for the fact that the pigmen can fly if they're standing on the glass. Anyway, <laughs> I think I might want to take this roof a little higher and do the same thing as the floor, but I don't know if I can go quite high enough to get the same just fading into oblivion kind of effect going on up here. But this portal here, this leads to the main base on the overworld, so let's go take a look at it. Judge! Ja -ja. uh. It, so far, is looking pretty grand, if I do say so myself. Let's get, let's get out here and take a real good peek at it. This thing is set up so that it kind of resembles a temple, but totally not at the same time. And yeah, fire, lava, portals, the whole shoot and match. And uh, what I tried to do, I'm not sure if you can really tell from down here. Uh, this is more for like later in the game when everybody's got uh, elytra flying around, zipping about. It is hopefully kind of looking like there's this dark nethery kind of, eh, yeah, okay, I kind of failed there. <laughs> this ring of nether right here, or nether brick, is actually a solid cylinder that goes all the way down. All the way down to bedrock um yeah and i wanted it to kind of be breaking through the temple here but i think i might have to make that a little bit more pronounced make it taller maybe have more more of it actually poking through anywho let's go down and take a peek inside and i don't have a shovel okay fast edit whoosh <laughs> hmm, weird I don't have any sand to play. Anyway, okay, so this is what it looks like as you approach from the ground, but you'll see there's no way actually into the sucker. That's because they follow these lines. Uh, the nearest one, I think, yeah, is this guy here, and he's pretty obvious. You can see him right away. <clears throat> Man, the fact that strays aren't affected by sunlight kind of sucks. Like, get out of my turf, bro. Jeez Louise. Any who's all? Here is one of the entry points. Um, They're not exactly equidistant or anything. I just sort of followed the same digging pattern until I broke through the surface. And you can see another one right there. And these guys are just lead us down into the depths of this temple. And I've got little lighting accents on the sides and big lava floor to greet us and ba-boom here we go it's kind of huge down here this represents a whole lot of digging and yeah there's that cylinder i was talking about that goes all the way up and through and oh geez i just jumped off the ledge god and yes there's a second level below <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I've just got some cobble stairs. I'm still digging away. I'm thinking I might dig this all the way down and do the whole smoky glass trick with it as well. Um, let's head back up. Uh, 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 uh. And you'll see there's a one of these entry points at each of the flats. And yeah, like I was saying, they just go on until they break through the surface. But then underneath, in the same spots, I've got... Ooh, this one's not finished. Okay, ignore that. Don't look at that one. Nah, 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 nah. Here we go. I've got other 
kind of entry points, little just the beginnings of tunnels to head off into different places. And I'm thinking these can maybe lead to like, I don't know, storage and sorting and crap like that. And I might do like a fish farm at the end of one and like a flower farm at the end of another and then wheat and then, you know, whatever. I haven't really gotten that far yet. And I'm thinking now that I've actually got my iron farm up and running, I might not want to use it. I'm thinking I might want to convert part of this base into an iron farm and maybe do most of my most of my like base type activities actually in this area instead of in the nether and just make it like a series of tunnels and stuff whatever we'll see what happens but yeah all of this happened either on stream or i had this like really rough time with my internet access and my computer and everything just being a butt um it, my, ugh, 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 I, I know, you, you've all experienced it, but automatic Windows update, yeah, it kind of pooched my software somehow, so I could not, I couldn't play Minecraft and record at the same time. It had no trouble running Minecraft, it had no trouble running OBS. Combine the two, and for whatever reason, it just failed, so I did a whole bunch of fighting with that trying to figure out what exactly was going wrong I had to like delete stuff and reinstall junk and still nothing 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 I fought with that for like a week and a half until uh, eventually I was at the point where I was just uninstalling and reinstalling everything and it turned out that it was a problem with Java for some reason yeah I don't get it I don't get it whatever but it's working now so I'm back <laughs> Oof. So yeah, all of this got missed because this was just me taking breaks from trying to fix the stupid thing and just grinding away. And I hope he doesn't see me because this is a fragile area that's a bunch of naturally spawned floating sand and junk. But yeah, this is where one of the en other entrances come out and I think it just looks pretty cool. Creeper face. Yuck. No. And a stray, concern it. Okay, I'm just gonna run a quick lap out here just to show more of a overhead view of the place. And yeah, I think it still needs some work, but I think it's looking pretty cool. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here and I'll show you and here's the portal to where my temporary base was, where I've got my strip mine set up. So let's just pop in there real quick and we'll get rid of some of this crap in my inventory. Boom! Now this here, I made a nice big funky cool, it really still needs a lot of work, uh, portal. And lore wise, uh, the plan is to have it so that uh, the mining camp that was established up here as they were digging down to na, 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 build this nice branch mine down here and gather up a whole whack load of resources. Ooh, that's like full already. Okay, dump all this junk in here. At least the fancy stuff. Okay, that's pretty much full already. Anyway, they stumbled across this nether portal and up top here is the temporary base where I've got the a little mining camp set up and uh, uh, my stable with all my horses I've managed to gather and I like the kind of claustrophobic feel of this place where the where the beams are just like kind of barely holding up the roof and I hope to continue that down further in I just haven't really spent a lot of time doing aesthetics lately there we go let's dump all this jazz in here uh, I don't need well, I should keep some dirt just in case I want a nerd pole somewhere. And there's no sense running around with all of this jazz in my inventory. I don't need a hoe. What the heck am I doing? Uh, I should probably grab some food before we take off again, though. And... Honestly, I'm not sure if I've even got any. I've got chickens, but... Yeah, here's my little temporary base. Just a... 
little miner's hut and a mine and a stables with a whole crap ton of horses. Uh, I've had some pretty good luck getting really good ones, and I've got so many saddles that I can just leave them on them. And I've still got three left, and check this out. But, uh, no diamond yet, but I'm gathering a pretty good collection of armor here. And this will just show exactly how freaking big this desert is. It goes all the way to the horizon in every one of these directions. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, it must be where like maybe two, possibly even three different desert biomes kind of, wow, glitch, door glitch, um, all kind of smacked into each other because it just is, I have no food. It just goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Yeah, I was just checking my notes here with my coordinates, and uh, this desert is, it's kind of obscenely huge. It's freaking massive. Found two different desert wells, uh, six different villages, and nine, count them, nine separate desert temples. In fact, there's one just right freaking there. So I'm guessing this must be a couple of different desert biomes smooshed together and uh, those six villages most of them uh, if they're not actually right directly in like the middle of the desert they're just right on the outskirts and uh, there's also a spot where there's an ocean monument kind of right off the coast of one of these patches of desert so that there was the uh, the main reason why I decided to uh, go the old um, making a whole bunch of like nether portals and crap and just connecting all of those those uh, temples together thinking that would be a cool way to make a base but eh, I'm feeling it less and less as I go on so we'll just see what happens those might just end up being turned into uh, like a communal thing I might just uh, make a bunch of uh, make basically just a big old nether hub and just have a bunch of cool looking tunnels and junk connecting that all up and like one temple can be this that and the other and hook them up to the spawn town well peeps I'm gonna say Tootly Pitsky right here at this point but I just also want to say thank you everybody for being patient with me and sticking around I know it's been a long 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 time since I've released a video but uh, I just want you all to know that uh, I'm planning on being a lot better at that so as always if you like what you see go ahead and smack that like button and if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe any comments suggestions or even if you just want to say hi leave some comments down below and I will see you very shortly in the next episode